Zero Magazine recently stated, if she doesn't initially win you over with her looks, you'll definitely fall victim to Tara Tinsley's infectious voice and sound. We certainly found that out when the self-confessed tomboy dropped into our Nashville studios to share her thoughts on her recent move to Nashville and all that lies ahead for the Michigan native. I'm Kane Harrison, and this is Emerging Artists. Bandwidth for today's show is brought to you by SoftLayer.com. We love SoftLayer here at Talkopolis. They are the greatest hosting company ever. They make everything easy. Check out their website at SoftLayer.com. Thanks again for sponsoring the show. Talkopolis, the social media TV network for your city. Thank you so much for dropping by the Talkopolis studios. Really happy to have you here. Um, let's talk about how you sort of made your journey. You were born in Michigan, first and foremost, yeah. and um, then made your move across the West Coast in California and recently to Nashville. But let's go back to Michigan and sort of what made you move across to California in the first place. Well, I grew up in this really small town of Pinckney, Michigan, 1,500 people. It was actually a village. So, I mean, there's not much opportunity there. Um, and I felt like Michigan in general is not a big music place. And I wanted to pursue music and do something and, with that. And, you know, when you're out here, you think, California, you need to go to <laughs> California. And it's warm there and it's just you dream about it. So, I don't know, I just decided at first to move to L.A., but... When I was graduating high school, um, my dad got laid off from his job, mm -hmm. and so he ended up finding a job in the Northern California, um, in Livermore, California, and so okay. I decided to hop on that and go yeah, out there sure. so I didn't have to pay for rent. So. Yeah, cool. So for, I guess for a while then you based your music career out of LA, or California more, more yeah. likely. Um, so what, what's the music scene like out there for the people in Nashville, I mean, who probably don't venture out there so much? Yeah. Um, what's it like out there compared to here? Well, I mean, Northern California is awesome because there's still a community for musicians like there is here. Um, Northern California musicians, um, they, they get together and they help each other, and I really like that. You can make money a lot easier there than you can here. Really? Um, but it's, I mean, Nashville is more like L.A. You can't really make money there. So, I mean, I didn't spend too much time down in L.A. Mm -hmm. But Northern California, it's, it's great, you know. It's, it's a great community, and as a musician, it's... Good to have friends having your back, you know? Yeah, I bet. And I imagine, like, the lifestyle must really affect your songwriting, I guess. I mean, you're a self-taught guitarist, so at some stage you decide, I'm going to pick up the guitar and start playing that. Um, what age was that? Hmm, about 14, I'd yeah. say. Something okay. like that. <laughs> so then I guess the influences of being out on the West Coast, I mean, and now in Nashville, most people would think that there is such a dramatic difference. And I know that Nashville isn't specifically country, uh, very much singer-songwriter orientated. But um, I feel like you've got kind of a beachy vibe in your tunes, <laughs> if you know what I mean, even though it's very singer-songwriter, but I could hear that there is a West Coast influence. Did that specifically come from being there? I mean, I guess my like in music and like my taste in music, I guess you say, um, has evolved over the years and being out there, I mean, I was into Jack Johnson and Amos Lee and I still am, but I mean, listening to musicians like that and being around musicians that play like that, it did influence me a lot. And I just love that type of music where you're just chilling and I mean, it could be about anything, but it just makes you feel good because you can relate to it, you know? Yeah. Yeah, and so made the move to Nashville in November last year, correct? Yeah. Yep. yeah. So how are you finding Nashville? Like, I love it. Mm -hmm. um, I came through here on tour a few times and um, fell in love harder each time. The last <laughs> time was in August of last year, and I call, always called it Musician's Paradise because it's, especially if you like country music, mm -hmm. and I do, <laughs> but it's just a place where it's even more tight-knit community and people are just the nicest people. It's like Calif Northern California, except it's Southern hospitality kind of musicians and I love it. It's amazing. I couldn't have imagined it better when that rain started pouring down. Felt like we were in a movie. That song blasting from your truck so loud I couldn't have written it better If I was gonna write the book There's something about real life unfolding sometimes And a kiss from you is all it took For me to fall for West Virginia On a trip away from Tennessee Start or the end of a great story I guess 
I guess we'll see. 